And welcome to another episode of BJ and Coffee. He's Bill. I'm Jim. And I got Gatorade tonight. I'm not going to lie. I was in the mood for Gatorade. I need to hydrate. Eh, I got tea. So get the housekeeping out of the way first. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash BJ and Coffee. You can reach us by email at BJ and Coffee at gmail.com. We're available on most of your audio podcast outlets. And you can find us on YouTube fairly easily by typing in BJ and Coffee in the search bar. And we are on Twitter at Coffee underscore BJ. I think I got it all. Uh, <laughs> I think you did. I think I might have gotten it all. Yeah. Uh, I so we've got a whole week of interesting bullshit going on. I didn't uh, hear anything special that on that one, so I think you got it all. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's going to be one of those nights, isn't it? <laughs> oh, God. This, um, this, this world is coming. I, I really think it's coming to an end at this point. I have no goddamn clue anymore. I admit it. It's just all sorts of shit hitting the fan these days. Well, I, I guess I'm going to start off with my story that I had found just from CBS News that got released earlier today. Uh, the headline actually from CBS News is, I'm a street fighter, Nancy Pelosi says. She could have fought the Capitol riots, rioters. Uh, Speaker of the I, House... I, I heard that she's actually going to do a special uh, you know, reenactment of that on her OnlyFans page for everybody. Uh, I, I heard that there's been a, a match set up with... Uh, <laughs> McGregor, I think. That I would pay money to see, no lie. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> just a joke, people, just a joke. Uh, no, Speaker. I'd pay money to see that, I'm not lying. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I would, just because I have to see what happens. I, I was just saying it's a joke that I actually said what I said. Ah. But, I was, but I'd still pay to see it. <laughs> Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi was, at the, was on Capitol Hill when a violent mob broke in, and she says if you confronted her, she could have fought them. Hmm. Okay. Dude, you can fart sideways and break her in half. Yeah, that's true, too. Uh, Pelosi was safely as, uh, evacuated from the U.S. Capitol by security when the insurgent stormed the building, uh, wanting to kill her. Wanting to kill her. That's what they were, were setting out to do, Pelosi told USA Today in a wide-range interview. When asked if she was, was frightened during the January 6th in, uh, incident, the House Speaker said, Well, I'm pretty tough. I'm a street fighter. They would have had a battle on their hands. She then lifted up her foot, showing a stiletto heel um, she could have used as a weapon. I would have had these, she joked. Mm, yeah, okay. <laughs> I, can't. I was never personally afraid because I had so much security for myself and the California Democrat. I was afraid for everybody else. I will never forget for forgive them for the trauma that they caused to the staff and the members she said many who were there are still dealing with the effects i do think it will will have an impact on how people decide to come to work here or stay to work here and the rest she said days after the deadly event a uh, fellow congresswoman uh, aoc spoke up spoke about the trauma in, in, induced by the insurgentists that, that she wasn't even there for. I, exactly. Oh, sorry. I forgot to shut my ringer off. Hang on. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay. All set. Uh, during a live stream on Instagram, AOC said she thought she was going to die during the, the rioting. The New York Democrat called the event an opportunity for people to talk about trauma, adding that there had been counselors and physicians in the house to talk to people after they were exposed to trauma during the rioting. Excuse me. Well, Pelosi, well, Pelosi and other lawmakers made it made made it out safe. Their space was still uh, violated. The day of the insurgent photos uh, circled widely, showing a main a man inside Pelosi's office with his feet resting on her desk. He was later identified as Richard Burnett of Arkansas and was taken into custody. Uh, another was Riley Williams was accused by a fellow uh, romantic partner of stealing a computer from Pelosi's office during the riot. Williams is facing charges according to court documents released in January. Uh, let's see. I'm going to scroll through some of this. Uh, the complaint 
said Capitol Police confirmed that a laptop was stolen from Pelosi's office on the day of the riot. Capitol Police also confronted that the footage shown in the video was taken in Pelosi's office. Well, no shit. The, um, I can't. And, and actually, I was just reading earlier that the Capitol Police actually were well aware that this was going to happen ahead of time and chose to ignore that. Uh, yes, and uh, we're going to actually, it's, it's not even the Capitol Police that were actually well aware of it. Actually, it was uh, <clears throat> stated also to people, people stated it was going to happen to also the FBI. So the FBI was well aware of this was going to happen too. And they let it happen. Brilliant. Just, just like the mass shooting that happened in Boulder, Colorado. The guy was, believe it or not, on the FBI's most watch list as a terrorist. Yep. And yeah, they weren't watching too well, were they? Um, how, if if this is the case, how was he able to buy a gun legally? Exactly. Exactly. Hmm. Seems a little fishy to me. Uh, yeah. I just, I can't these days. So yes, Pelosi now supposedly is a street fighter and our wonderful house speaker. I want to see her go ten rounds in the fucking ring with fucking Donald Trump. Oh Jesus! I was thinking more that they would be adding a new character into the game, Street Fighter, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> okay, internet, internet. I'm telling you, I'm calling you out the internet right now. Do your thing. <laughs> Oh my god, I want to see a meme with her and fucking Conor McGregor. <laughs> I want to see a, a meme with her and like Ryu or somebody like that from uh, the actual Street Fighter game. <laughs> that would be hilarious, I'm telling you. Baraka. Uh, <laughs> Baraka. <laughs> Barack Obama. Oh, Jesus. I know, I realized after I said it that it was very similar to him, but... Um, uh, so I will say the... Um, I'm, I'm pretty... I don't want to say happy. Because that's not the right term to use, but I am. Here's something everybody could use. Really? <laughs> it's don't worry. It's a DIY video. You're fine. You're fine. Uh, okay. Um, the um, now former police officer uh, Kim Potter is being charged with manslaughter um, for grabbing her pistol instead of her teaser, which honestly. I, I anybody that's been a cop for 26 years should damn well know what they're grabbing. I mean, I'm sorry if you don't know what you're grabbing, you don't deserve to have either one of them. But that's my personal opinion, and everybody knows I, I'm a, definitely a firm supporter of our police. Um, but I, I will say this as well: what's really annoying the crap out of me these days, and my wife brought it up earlier, and, and we we agree on this, is that. <laughs> the complete disregard for the fact that Mr. Wright's mother is actually white. The, you know, everybody, everybody, I like literally, I've got the, the story up on USA Today here, and they say he is a black man. And I say it like that because it's with a capital B. No, he's actually a biracial male, and they want to disregard the, you know, what, his mother doesn't count now? You know, I mean... <sighs> really is this what it come down to this is what the media is about it has to be about race no it really doesn't have to be about race all the damn time and really this is it's not really about race it's a horrible incident that happened and yeah it, it, it just it just happened to be that he was a black man no he's he's biracial biracial whatever hey his mom's white you know that's just how it rolls that's that's the facts of the matter and nobody wants to bring that out the I mean, yes, he was pulled over for having uh, no insurance and expired registration. And people are blowing a fit saying that was not a justified traffic stop. Oh, wait a minute, though. Hold on. His warrant, believe it or not, his warrant arrest that they were trying to arrest him on was actually the total opposite. It was a felony warrant for owning an unregistered handgun without a pistol permit. Okay, but... That wasn't determined until after the traffic stop commenced. So people are blowing a fit saying that was not a justified traffic stop. Now, here's the thing. 
if you're driving down the road, minding your own business, obeying the rules and everything else, the way you're supposed to do in your vehicle, somebody just blows the stop sign, T-bones you, and they're driving on no license, expired registration, no insurance, guess what? You're screwed. Because your mm-hmm. insurance company is only going to cover so much of that, and you got no recourse, and chances are you're not getting a penny out of the other individual. So, yes, it was a justified traffic stop. What happened next was absolutely wrong, and I will say that with no hesitation whatsoever. And But the thing is, the traffic stop itself, what initiated the whole thing, that was well and proper. He had a warrant. But, again, if you see... Dude, you know you got a warrant. Just take the hit, put your hands behind your back, go downtown, get it sorted out, and get back to living again. I mean, absolutely. Just just just, com- just comply. I mean, comply with the police officer wants you to do. I mean, obviously, yes. There's there's don't get me wrong. There's there are bad cops, just like there's bad anybody else. Any group is going to have its bad apple. I, I, I don't feel this was. I don't feel this was a bad cop thing though. I, I feel this was a goddamn dumbass cop that didn't deserve the badge. But that's my opinion. I, I, you, you can't you, tell it, exactly difference. because now I get that she was charged. Okay, and if she gets off, she gets off. She doesn't. She doesn't. But you, you should know the difference between your pistol and your freaking taser. I get so, it. Anybody, that, and I agree with you that. You can Google. Um, actually, hang on. Let me just see if it says it doesn't. Okay, so if you can find out what kind of sidearm the um, there that police department happens to carry, the that, Glock 17. If, okay, I know what a Glock 17 frame looks like. When you look at the tasers they carry, that frame is so uniquely different from anything even remotely Glock. That yes, the actual your hand handle, your your handle actually is shorter. Yeah, it, when your hand goes onto that grip, if you can't tell the difference between the two, you don't deserve to be a cop. I'm sorry, that I no, 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 no. Yes, all um, all police issued firearms are Glock 17s. Well, not all. Well, that's what Google oh, pulled for up for that department. Yeah, okay, um, but you know. If you can't, like I said, any officer that can't tell the difference in a, just by putting their hand on it between their firearm and a taser, you don't know. You you need to go back to remedial training. You don't deserve to be out there on the street because that is a life or death piece of knowledge. And I may back the blue, but I'm not backing this because no, that was just sheer stupidity. You know that that does, and, and somebody lost his life over it, and that did not deserve to happen. Um, you know, that, that's, it's frustrating because it's stupid shit like this that, you know, just makes life even much more of a pain in the ass. Um, no, the only thing is that I don't like about the whole thing what's going on is literally it started back up with rioting and looting again. Hmm. Has anybody surprised? Mm, no. Yeah, exactly. Uh, because people... The people that are pushing the, the rioting and looting, they're not there about Duante Wright. They're there for their own 15 seconds of fame and for whatever big TV they can snatch off a shelf to throw up in their living room. Or get their that, or get their kids new Nikes for free. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Five-finger discount. Yeah. Um, interesting side note. My wife pointed this out to me earlier, and... Apparently, George Floyd's girlfriend was one of Duante Wright's teachers back in the day. Hmm. That's what I said. Like, duh, huh? <clears throat> she only she was that old. Um. But yeah, that's I, I can't even right now. Um. Although, in that related news, uh, let's see. Hold on one second. Troll. Wapo's not letting me look. Um, let me see if I can find that again. Supposedly, today, one of the people that they were interviewing today on the stand said that 
<clears throat> you couldn't determine the cause of death. George Floyd? Yep. Hey, I'm just trying to see. I, can I had a story on. I'm trying to pull it back up. Oh, uh, let's see. There we go. Hopefully, ah, New York Times. Okay. Defense expert calls his cause of death undetermined. Continue with Facebook. What the hell? Okay, I'm getting close to that one story I was talking about before we started. Uh -huh. I should be able to pull it up here soon. Oh, let's see. No scoreboards? Nope. So apparently they testify that George Floyd died from a sudden cardiac arrhythmia rather than deprivation of oxygen. Um, he said he believed he died after a combination of factors, including pre-existing heart conditions, drug use, exposure to vehicle exhaust from the cruiser. Yeah, and, you know... It's, I, like I said, I, I honestly believe there's enough blame on both sides of that one. It, do what you're going to do, and let's move on. Because all this is doing right now is creating more issues. I'm not saying anybody's free to go. I'm just saying it just needs to You know, I, I'm honestly thinking that maybe they should really seriously maybe stop televising that. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not disagreeing with you on that one. Although, I, I mean, I, I, I like the fact that it's it's kind of being non-biased, but it, it, in a way, I think all it's going to do is just create more problems than a, just another fucking street war with cops and rioters and looters. No matter which way it goes. Because even if the Floyd family does get the justice that they want... I personally think it's going to set it off. Where is this story? Uh, let's see. So, speaking of criminal matters, Bernie Madoff, the one-time senior statesman of Wall Street, who in 2008 became the human face of an era of financial misdeeds, and missteps for running the largest and possibly most devastating Ponzi scheme in financial history, died in federal prison. He was 82. I guess you could say he made off without serving the rest of his sentence. I guess you could. <laughs> Thank you to the wife for that one. I got to give credit. Uh -huh. He was serving a 150-year sentence. Um... Let's see. So he has served oh eight thirteen years of one hundred and fifty. Yeah, he he got off easy on that one. Uh, literally. Um. Let's see. I do got some good news though for New York State. Possibly. We already know they legalized recreational, dude. No. <laughs> A possibility of hopefully maybe getting rid of Andrew Cuomo in 2022. Yeah, well, she hasn't confirmed anything yet, and honestly, I'm not impressed with what I've read about her either. No, not her. Oh, who? Lee Zed Zedlin. Never he heard of him. He currently holds the, I believe it's either the first or the third congressman seat in Congress. He is a husband, father of two girls, and also a lieutenant colonel in the United States Army Reserve. Hmm. You know what? I'm getting a hold of the Republicans. I'm throwing my hat in the ring. <laughs> oh. So apparently they're uh, in the process of legislating their way into making Washington, D.C. the 51st state. Uh, let's see. 
Man, this is so stupid. Yeah. I mean, I think we've got a couple other places that they should look at first. You know, like, I don't know, Guam, Puerto Rico. You know, little places I think I would like go that. Puerto. Yeah, I think I would go with Puerto Rico first since it is our territory. And it has been for how long now? Same with Guam. I mean, and, and, uh, uh, how do you make our nation's capital a state? That's the whole point. It's not a state for a reason. Exactly. It was made that way hundreds of years ago. Oh, they're, they're, they're concerned that they're excluding D.C. residents from the democratic process. Um, watching you from the sidelines as Congress votes on laws hmm. to affect the nation or votes even on the laws of the duly elected D.C. government. So it's a, a way for the Democrats to have more power. Pretty much. Okay. Little bastards, communist bastards. Fortunately, not all Democratic senators have supported or expressed support for the legislation. There's a reason why it's not a state, and I, I think we are watching our government walk further and further away from the intentions of the, the people who created this country in the first place. You know, they're taking the fundamentals away from our founding forefathers who started the country. Yep. Who passed our constitution and freaking our laws that are forth in front of us. Yep. But, well, I still think the best thing to do is to term when it's all the way down and hell with everybody. I, I, I'm not going to argue with that one. I, I agree with you on that one. You got people like Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, uh... Who else has been in there? Too long. I can't remember all of them. Oh, Joe Biden. Yep. Uh, Kamara Harris, I think, has been in there for a while, too. Yep. And the list gets bigger and bigger every day. You know, I'm going to lighten things up a little bit. So, Walt Disney has filed a patent for a, quote, real lightsaber. <laughs> um, a real lightsaber? How is that possible? How long, probably, how, long, how long will that be before Biden tries to ban that because it's well, killed people? It's probably not real, but of course, when, Di- or, but when Disney Parks chairman John or Josh DeMauro ended his April 8th presentation by whipping out a never-before-seen retractable lightsaber. No video evidence, of course. Disney and Star Wars fans went wild online. Um, Speculation ran rampant, much of it pointing to a 2018 patent for a, quote, sword device with retractable, internally illuminated blade. Um, The writer of the article poured through the patent later that evening has been trying to figure out a way to show the readers how it works ever since. Um, <laughs> um, a VR developer, Ben Ridout, has already illuminated uh, how it's theoretically going to work. Um, I, I mean, I think it's kind of cool. Don't get me wrong. I am a geek like that. Star Wars really was the uh, first movie I saw in theaters, so... but yeah it's uh it'll be interesting to see what comes to that i mean granted nobody's gonna be able to afford them most likely because it's yeah disney (laughs) but yeah really um (laughs) disney may have created a full-size evenly lit disappearing lightsaber blade of our dreams minus the whole slice objects and half with a beam of energy part of course just wondering if it'll be a prop for Disney Disneyland actors or the latest incredible toy that we can't quite afford. <laughs> Wait a second. There we go. I don't have the blade in right now, but <laughs> <laughs> I have my light shaver. Um Let's see. What else we got going on? Though? I'm trying to find something now. Like I'm trying to go for some positive shit now. Um, 
going on locally? Anything good? Oh, well, Syracuse is bringing back the shot spotter after being cut due to pandemic budget concerns. Considering the number of shootings lately, I'd say that's a good thing. Um, oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. Let me see if this is a, a subscriber-only story on Sir. Oh, CNY Central. Okay. Um, so the 23-year-old who is charged with shooting and killing an 11-month-old baby Sunday night um, is also facing weapons, parole violation, and tampering with evidence charges. Um, five shots were fired from the driver's side, hit three girls in another car, uh, intentionally cleared all data from his phone. Um, in 14, he faced assault and weapons charges after he shot a 13-year-old in the head. He was 17 at the time. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> however, in a podcast published in February by OCC, where he's a business student, he detailed in his own words his hopes to turn his life around. The college has since unpublished the podcast. <laughs> so... All I have to say is, you know, you obviously, he didn't turn it around far enough. Um, he is currently the only person facing charges in, in this killing. I was trying to go for, like, lighter and fun, but then again, I see health alert. Sudden increase in syphilis cases in Onondaga County. <laughs> I can't even right now. <laughs> I can't find this damn story anywhere, and it's pissing me off. Uh, let's see. Amazon donates $1.7 million to construct new STEAM high school in Syracuse. Science, Entering technology, uh, electronics, arts, and math. Let's see. There we go. Let's see if this one. And no. Please subscribe to continue reading. I think not. Found it. Found it. I found okay, it. Okay, run it. with it because I'm still looking for something. Okay, Liverpool CNS football game stopped in the fourth quarter. Both schools embarrassed themselves. Cicero, New York. The athletic, the athletic director from Liverpool and, Syri and Cicero North Syracuse High School stopped a football game in the fourth quarter, football, Friday night. At a pair of injuries and a flurry, a flurry of personal personal fouls and, uh, and indicted the team couldn't behave well enough to finish. Uh, Cicero North Syracuse led 21 to zip with a 10 minute and 20 second left seconds left in Left with CNS and and Ed Thompson, Bednarski, and Liverpool AD Lyman met <clears throat> Lyman met with official with officials and ended the game between the neighborhood rivals. Uh, Berniski said it was the first time in nine years as ath athletic directors in CNS that had to that he had to end the game early because of a bad behavior. Both he and Liverpool coach Dave called uh, the inability to compete to complete the game embarrassing for two schools. And the best in the post game aftermath included a CNS fan threatening Liverpool player as the Warriors left the stadium. It was getting a it was getting chippy both ways, and it was getting out of hand. It was said the game at that point meant nothing. I think both schools embarrassed themselves. The emotion was was evident throughout. Well, some players helped each other, helped each other up uh, after plays and patted each other out of respect. A handful on each team engaged in trash talk and borderline behavior from the start. The highest emotion of the rival took a nasty turn in the third quarter following a frightening injury to Liverpool quarterback. The quarterback ran a draw, uh, a, a draw up the middle and en encountered a host of CNS defenders. He kept chaining his, his legs, uh, seeking yardage, until all 22 players on the field had formed a, a, a squirm. Scrum. Scrum. Squirm. Scrum. Rugby term. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> the, pile was, the, pile was, the pile was moving. The, product, the product of pushing on both sides. 
until uh, Mansco began to uh, back backpedal. He fell to the ground. A pile of bodies fell on top of him, and he gave a quick shout. Players began yelling at each other, other quickly to get off the pile. The quarterback never got to his feet. He left. He his left foot was turned the wrong direction, almost completely around. Mm -hmm. He was attended to be. He was attended to by trainers and emergency medical personnel. Lifted lifted into a, a cart, wheeled off the field, and taken to a hospital. Uh, his father, his father, Liverpool, Liverpool head coach, said he delivered the quarterback suffering suffering a broken ankle. Adamsley left the field quickly after addressing his team after the after the game to join his son, hoping uh, a fence on one side and the field on his team packed up the packed up and walked to its bus on the other. Uh, the stadium sat hushed for about ten minutes after. Uh, Brendan uh, lie on the ground as he was taken off the field. A handful of his teammates shouted, "We love you, B." I mean, th this 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 whole story is just so freaking screwed up because there's just more to it. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Um, it it got really bad. It it literally got with parents were fighting. Um, there's another kid that was actually hurt. Um, and he actually. Suffered a couple other things. Uh, where is it? Uh, I mean, there's literally head blows. There's, you know, even another player with broken legs from this whole game for targeting. Uh, it, it's horrible. Um, it goes as far now as one family um, had recently just posted actually on Facebook. Um, and they're actually going after the other family's uh, thing. And I'm just going to read what their post says. Uh, and I'm not even going to give the person's name. Uh, I said nothing. The next thing I knew, there was a turf under my feet and I could see the stadium lights again. CNS number 10 was able to keep me off the field. Kato's to him, since that's that's a first. The game was called. His last home game as a North Star has ended. The situation, on the other hand, has not. This was not football. It was an assault. I am the mom of the number 84, the parent, guardian of number 84, coach, and you will be held accountable, but not today. Today I'm smiling knowing that my son's team is 4-0, uh, I can't see some because they got it crossed out. Um, something about Star Wars. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, Cup, this was not football. This was an assault, and there is there are charges that will will burden you for years to come, Eldon Perez. I am not your judge, but I will be the audience when you are brought before the jury. I'm assuming this is the father of... The quarterback. Quite possibly. So, apparently there's mean charges being... Oh, I have no doubt. I mean, something like that, it sounds like there was definitely, you know, definitely some issues there. I mean, <clears throat> I didn't read the whole article. But it went down into, like, parents were fighting and... I get it, it's a rival game. I get it. When you have them in high school football, you got them in college football. But it doesn't involve fighting with parents. You're there for the same thing. Even if it's a different team and it's a rival team, you know? You know, I'm going to say one thing. You don't see this kind of behavior at band competitions, at art competitions. <laughs> no, it's because nobody wants to go to them. No, but that's the whole point. Is you want to cut the money for you know things like band and art programs, but you want to keep sports, which encourages poor behavior on some of fronts these days. Anyway, shoot, when I was, I'll tell you something. When I was in high school, I wrestled in high school, and one night we had one of our heavy duty rivals we were wrestling against, and some of the people on our side 
like the crowd were getting a little raucous and out of hand. And the coach walked out into the middle of the gym. He had a voice for it, boomed out for everybody to shut the hell up, said that if they continued, we were going to forfeit the match and be done because he refused to allow fans to show poor sportsmanship. That's the kind of type of coach you don't get anymore. That's the type of coach these kids need if they want to keep these sports programs. Wow, how many stories did Syracuse.com do on this? Obviously too many. They were bored. Shattered leg, disciplined follows Liverpool and ENS football flare-ups. It was just a perfect storm. No such thing. <coughs> Blah. Excuse me. <coughs> mm, excuse me. But, I mean, it's... It's supposed to be, it's supposed to be kids sports here, people. I mean, come on. Exactly. The, um, they're I'm just, not ready to talk about that yet. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just taking sports way too far. I mean. That's what I'm saying. You, you know, these, you don't get these kind of issues at your, your arts or music competition. But even back when I was in high school, okay, I played football. Even when I was back in high school, if you so act, if you yeah, well, if you uh-huh. acted like this on a field when I was when when I was playing football, yeah, you were going to get kicked off the team. Exactly, that, and that's what I'm saying is that they they've taken the participation trophy way too far these days. Absolutely, because like I said, like when I played football and you did something like this, your ass was getting off your ass was getting off the field, and your season was done. And if you would be lucky if you got another season at all. And you were lucky if you'd be lucky if you didn't get expelled from school. Exactly. I mean, you didn't pull that kind of shit. I mean, yeah, we played against rival teams and you know, the other team, you know, was trying to fucking provoke us and shit like that, but we had the discipline to know that okay, we need to play at the level that we know how to play. Yep. Because if they want to play dirty, guess what? They're going to lose. Yep. And 95% of the time, they did. Exactly. I mean, it's just, it's bullshit. Yeah. And more of it is um, another landmark going away because of COVID. Uh, JJ's Miss Syracuse downtown, the diner car by City Hall. Yes, I saw that today. Will not be reopening now. Uh, he said they just don't have the numbers for it. And I, I get it. And that's the sad part. Um, which is saying that that's like a, a landmark in Syracuse. I mean, that, that's been there forever. Um, the, at 258 East Water Street, it's had many operators over the years, including Dan Galloway and briefly uh, Charlie Roman. Uh, let's see. As JJ's Miss Syracuse, it featured classic diner breakfast plus lunch items like burgers, haddock sandwiches, meatball subs, and uh, Tedisco specialties such as chicken riggies and pot roast. So, uh, yeah, Joe Tedisco is saying he's done, which is kind of sad. It's it's a shame, you know. I mean, it's our economy has been so freaking screwed up. I mean, hell, Vince Vaughn was in there in 19 while he was around in town filming a movie. It's, it's a shame. Uh, it is what it is. What are we going to do these days? Uh, let's see. Try to see if there's anything else. Uh, you know what? Let's see what's going on in the world of science. Uh, let's see. NASA releases images of rolling blue dunes on Mars. Okay, this has got me intrigued. I thought it was the red planet. Um, hmm. Let's see. Syracuse University says recreational marijuana is a violation of student code of conduct. Yet they're allowed to have alcohol. <laughs> if it's legal, technically it's not freaking a code of conduct anymore. Exactly. Um, okay, so 
basically the blue dunes on Mars is temperature variations in the polar regions of the planet, which are basically like our North and South Pole. So that's kind of cool, though. Uh, let's see. And not much there. Sports, I don't expect to see much. Nope, well, the only thing that's going on right now is Major League Baseball. Who cares about that? Uh, you know. <laughs> then I get it. It's the all-time favorite American sport, but I just find it boring. I'm not going to lie. I do have a hard time watching it. <laughs> See my point exactly. We we agree on something today. Yes. yes. Uh home. -huh. No, I ain't Jack there. Okay, let's see uh, technology. Let's see what technology has for us. Um, Instagram's new test lets you choose if you want to hide likes. Wait, what was that? Apparently, Instagram is testing a new feature that allows you to hide whether or not people like your picture. Why? I have no idea. Why don't they just come up with a dislike button then? I have no idea. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> I'm just like, um. Uh, I'm going to like this, but I want it to hide what I liked. Well, no, I think it's you can hide the, the likes on your own stuff so like nobody can see how many people liked it or didn't. That's still kind of stupid. Uh, let's see. Now, if we have any lip readers watching the video. <laughs> <sighs> and Volan, can you use clear plastic garbage bags? Nope, probably not. Come on, out, them. Oh, never mind. I think they were talking about asking about trash. Well, let's see. I still want to see Nancy Pelosi in a street fight. <laughs> I would put money on that shit. I'd put money on it. She wouldn't make it 20 seconds. I don't disagree with you. James, we can go, we can go half on this dude and we can freaking make millions. Yep. Split right down the million, right down the middle yeah, right down the million. Well, it probably would be a couple million. And in the one ring, we have Nancy Pelosi, the crippled. I can't even. So apparently Spotify is now getting away from the purely digital market into the actual physical market with their new car thing, which is actually the name of it. Gadget for automobiles. Uh, New car thing? Yeah, it's called the car thing, the Spotify car uh, thing. Uh, so you can actually take your Spotify in your car without having to pop it up on your phone or anything else. Uh, it's similar to a touchscreen voice enabled tuner, except the only things car thing helps drivers tune are different audio tracks, podcasts, albums, or playlists inside the library. In addition to allowing you to tap at screen or directly with voice commands, CarThing has a large physical dial. Spotify said that CarThing is not meant to compete with in-car infotainment systems. It can supplement the system your car already has, or it could provide a way for older cars to add a higher tech tool for listening to Spotify. And yes, this device only works with Spotify. The device comes with a selection of different attachments to mount it to your dashboard. To qualify for the limited release promotion, you must be a paying premium subscriber in the U.S. and have a smartphone with Wi-Fi or mobile data connection. Interesting. I might have to see if I can get my hands on one of those. I'm a tech geek. I admit it. <laughs> it's a car thing. I just got my truck on the road. Congratulations. 
Ugh. Fucking DMV, fucking three goddamn months. <laughs> uh, let's see. Put online, it'll be faster. Yeah, right. Uh, let's see. Hey, guess what's up on the internet now? What's that? Village special budget board meeting. Oh, I'll have to take a look at that later. Yeah, me too. I've heard a lot about it, so. Mm-hmm, me too. Oh, let's see. That seems like pretty much all the news that's fit to discuss, because the rest of it's just the same old, same old over and over again. Uh, I don't see anything else. Just fucking rioting, looting. Yeah. Yep. There. Lawsuit seeks to overturn New York's incest law as parents want to marry adult child. I'm out. Hon, we'll I'm, get about him before the end of the year. I'm not even going to read this damn shit. <laughs> this is from one of my Christian posts that I just popped up. You know, speaking of Christians, I'm going to diverge for a moment onto a topic that's been like boiling around in my brain for a minute. Everybody's going off on Lil Nas X and his uh, Montero song, Call Me By Your Name. Um, you would think... That a group of people who feel that the devil is evil incarnate would be applauding somebody who has shown that he has a desire to, you know, make his way there and eliminate said devil to eliminate the evil. But no, everybody's blowing a fit about it because he's pole dancing in stripper heel boots. I don't get it. It's very contra it's very contradicting of itself, of the whole concept. Well, it's probably the older Christians because <laughs> me as a Christian, I could care what he does. I mean, <laughs> I, I really don't. If that's what he wants to do, more power to him. I mean, I it's it, it's on my playlist. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like the song. I've watched the video a couple times, and I'm like, oh. I watched the video once. I wasn't even impressed. I thought it was a horrible video. I mean, I've seen some much better videos than that, but that's just I'll my personal over, opinion. I'll bring you over some brownies. Watch it after you eat the brownies. It'll be a much better video. Nah, I'm good. I don't want, <laughs> I don't want to eat your brownies. <laughs> but I mean, it, also too, like it also states in the Bible and it states as Christians, we're not to judge. It's not our job to do it. That's God's job. Yep. Well, when you meet your maker. So for me to sit there and say like, what he's doing is wrong and what I just did was wrong too so two wrongs don't make a right mm -hmm. now, so I, but like I said I mean that's if that's what he believes then he has a right to believe that well the interesting thing is I, I was reading you know he's on TikTok and I've watched some of his content talking about it I've done some reading on interviews he's done regarding this song and the video <laughs> and really it, it's basically a call out to all those so-called Christians that did nothing but give him hell for all those years when he was younger, when he was a young gay black man. And, um, you know, he, he's a, basically, this is the, this is what resulted from all of the crap he took over the years. And well, I mean, it, it, it all, and, I, and that's the thing, all artists are doing that right now. I mean, if you, do you look at, uh, Eminem, mm -hmm. you know, Eminem came out with, a song i forgot the actual name of it i'd have to go back on my my phone and look it up it's on my phone I actually it's one long one song i actually liked um when they were when we started this whole cancer culture bullshit they wanted to cancel uh oh, yeah. over his lyrics over his lyrics and uh so he 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 did the next best thing and wrote a song freaking telling them to stick in their ass <laughs> you know so i mean Everybody has a right to, if that's the way he wants to, this is his his uh, opinions or his life. Eh, so be it. Who are we to say anything? 
exactly. Um, in somewhat lighter international news, Egyptian authorities have impounded a massive cargo vessel that blocked the Suez Canal last month. Uh, the ship was impounded amid a financial dispute with its owner. Uh, the big, the large ship, the cargo ship ever given would not be allowed to leave the country until a compensation amount is settled with the vessel's Japanese owner, Shoei Kisan Kaisha Limited. Um, so <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, going like, no, I, I work part, I work towing. I know what it is to impound a car, but how the hell do you impound a, a, a cargo ship like that? <laughs> I know, you're fine. Dry dock? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you guys relax. You're fine. But yeah, it's. I just saw it. I was like... <laughs> you know, this is something I don't really actually understand. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong on this, Jim. If... If we can prosecute police officers for shooting unarmed, let's go out and say it for unarmed men. Yep. How come the Capitol police officer that shot the woman isn't being charged? Because they've reviewed all of the footage, they've reviewed all of the statements from both other police officers and the people in the crowd who were there and determined that the officer acted according to their training and was not acting inappropriately because they were at that point uh, fear for their life because apparently the person was approaching with what appeared to be a weapon. So you have I a weapon, read that though. earlier. Yeah, I know. I read that part too, but the point was that she still didn't have a weapon. Well, like I said, it, it a lot of it comes down to the, you know, they basically they they took into account the officer's account, all the video footage from the various live streams people were doing that covered it, witness statements from other officers as well as people in the crowd. Now, mind you, they they have witness statements from the the protesters or insert and whatever you want to call them, the people that were quote storming the Capitol, that basically backed up what the officer said. So that tells me that this one's a this one's a justified case. Who knows? Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Bill Gates' wife probably wearing an upside down cross. Good for her. Believe what you want. <laughs> New York Times, I love this one. Uh oh. No, it's just a freaking picture that put on there uh Morris BLM founder racks up a million dollar property empire with a, with with it with at least four homes wow living the American dream man where where's the white man keeping you down now seriously well, just think that's all the people that donated probably to black lives matter no comment no comment I'm just saying. But anyway, I think that was a, I think that's enough common sense and news for a, you know this week. But <laughs> so yeah, we uh, don't really have much here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. And we will be back again next week. You know. So uh, like I said, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash bj and coffee. Hit us up on email at bj and coffee at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter at coffee underscore bj. We're on all of your pod, uh, most of your podcast outlets for audio version. And if you really want to watch our ugly mugs, you can find us on YouTube. Just type in BJ and Coffee. So until in the next, search bar. Yep, in the search bar. Uh, until next week, thank you for joining us. We'll catch you then. Be kind to one another and uh, yeah, maybe pay it forward once in a while. Be surprised at the difference it makes. People are so, doing it all over the world. Have a great week. Catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>